Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Shouldn't we test it? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. I have some things to do first. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's gonna work until we actually try it. Hey. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having a, hmm? that sort of dictatorial shit. Ain't you? She tried to dupe us both. Dealing. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of a hell. That sort of bulls the whole reason. The guy was scum. Used. Him. He had this goon folks with home. Mm -hmm. They cracked him. You can't. You're right. Mm -hmm. I felt mm -hmm. like less than nothing. Uh -huh. I might have still been high. Sure. As Hancock. After that, I went clean. Right. Got a crew of. Uh huh. Why not try? Hey. Uh -huh. Or at least. So. Uh -huh. And there I am. I up oh, was. And you're never going to have to. Good. I just hope you get. Though I'm getting the distinct idea. Well, you probably. was weak, Nemo. Strong glad to be rid of him. Last time we talked, I hope I didn't bore you to death by dumping my life story on you. Hey, if it's important to you... I really appreciate you saying that. And the fact of the matter is, you're the closest thing to family I... as we've been traveling. Anyway. Hey. And I aim to keep... Remember, if you need anything... Weather's clear. That's something, at least. <clears throat> There you are. I almost thought you forgot. You ready to head out? Damn right I am. Let's move. McCready, huh? That's a hell of a gun to have at your back. I aim to please. Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. So...
really easy. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah. Th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration, okay? Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it! Hold on to your butt! I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite Busted. resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us, I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are 
unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Useless. Would need the key. No way to pick this. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? These bad people, they... They stole you from me. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone. But... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, honey? What do you want me to do? I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! Hmm? Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. I'll make this very simple. He's here, in the Institute. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more... Mm -hmm. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, it's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. Come on. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went sick, but then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Ray. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed you... At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never... Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable. Human synths? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was... Stupid plenty of that man. was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. Uh. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, Members of the Institute had been exposed, mm. but then the Institute found me. 
After discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the common. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father, through science. Sixty years. I know. I know you must have questions. Your father... He never got to... Yes. What happened? I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. Mm -hmm. For many years, I never questioned. With old age comes regret. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance. What else can I say? Kellogg. He... Kellogg. He was an institute asset long. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was... After what he's done... I... The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely... Hmm? Institute technology prolonged his life and... his usefulness far beyond. Hmm? He never failed the Institute. I won't lie. Yeah. What else can I say? What? So... You're... I am the acting director, yes. I spent the Institute. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there. Oh, we've tried. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create us. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know. Just give me time. Yeah. I know there's more for us. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Maybe. <sighs> I know. And I am sorry. The Institute can provide a better life than any you've been in the Commonwealth. You. How can you say that? How can you be... Because it is the simple truth. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. We really do. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It... All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads, Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. A, and finally Dr. Lee in advanced...